Yeah, it was uh, it was a great weekend, and it was one that we were rewarded, I thought, for um, um, the play that we were able to um, exhibit for the most part throughout the week. And I thought we played um, really hard, and I thought we played uh, um, for the most part very good hockey. Um, and we needed those four points, so um, we're excited and uh, to go into break here with those four points in the league, and also uh, get a, pick up two Ivy wins and. and um, for us, uh, I thought we were, like I said, we were finally rewarded for um, how well I think we've been playing, although the inconsistencies I thought we minimized, which allowed us to be successful this past weekend. We're a resilient bunch. I mean, it shows good character in the room. I mean, um, you know, and it's, it's, um, it was a situation where I thought we were actually playing very good hockey um, in that game. Um, in the first period, there were um, some penalties that, that um, took a little while. Um, of the momentum um, away from us and shifted it to Dartmouth. Uh, we, had, we had a major right off the bat, and then uh, uh, we also uh, had another um, minor on that same uh, major kill. So um, it set us back on our heels a little bit, but uh, uh, going down 2 nothing um, is not a good thing. But um, as I told the guys, when you have 40 minutes left, uh, you just got to keep chipping away. And eventually, um, you know, we, we got those opportunities uh, to score in the third and, and we're able to deposit him. Um, great individual effort on the, on the second goal by, um, by Nick Lappin. I mean, it was just a, a beautiful goal and, and uh, um, one of the better ones I've seen in a while. Um, and then, uh, you know, we kept plugging and uh, put a shot on net in overtime and it was a good shot, but it was from a, it was from a, um, a difficult angle um, and it, it went in. So, I mean, it just shows you um, the stick to it and, and um, the ability for our guys to uh, um, understand that it is a 60-minute game and, and to be able to come out on top. But those were two really important points. I told them to approach um, the third period as we were heading out as this, if it was a playoff game because we don't play for another month and we really need the points at home. Well, I mean, Tyler, um, Tyler uh, earned his opportunity on Friday night and then earned another opportunity with how he played um, on Friday night to, to go back in on Saturday. And... Uh, you know, he's, he's done a really good job. I mean, he's, he's uh, um, been able to uh, put together a pretty good one-loss record, and, and um, I think um, obviously we were looking for wins. So um, he did what was asked of him this weekend. I mean, he gave up three goals, he, and, he, and he stopped, a, um, I think, 94% of the shots that he faced. So he uh, gave us an opportunity to win both games. And then, um, you know, I, th I think the freshmen as a whole have been, have been coming along nicely. And I think um, this weekend, um, um, Kramer... Um, has been playing very well of late and, and uh, was rewarded um, justly with, with the opportunity to get on the score sheet. And, uh, but that was a tribute to his line mates too, I thought. I thought Prizebeck and, and Davey Middleton um, both had very good games, uh, especially in that Saturday game. And it's funny, when we break down um, shifts and, and opportunities, those guys were around the puck a lot offensively, I thought, and, and were able to contribute. So it was nice to see. And, and, Expect it. I mean, it's hard as a as a young guy coming in to get your feet wet, uh, but um, you know we need them to uh, to contribute, and they they were able to this weekend. Um, it's hard because uh, um, the guys are heading into um, exams, and and uh, they are student athletes. I want them to do well um, on the academic side, so um, it'll be a bit, bit just disjointed as we head into. Uh, um, some practices and then some optional practices as they head into exams and then they're you know they, they're able to go home for a little bit so the onus really falls on on um, the guys to make sure that they're keeping sharp and staying in shape um, when they're down here to make sure they're putting in the effort um, and uh, but, but that being said the break is is a good thing um, and everybody faces the same thing um, and uh, it's, it's few and far in between of teams that will be playing um, as we head into December and then uh, um, after break, again, we, we get back at it. We got two really um, uh, challenging uh, games out west. Uh, but, but the good thing is the guys will be back on campus on the 28th of December and we'll have a good week to, to get after it again in practice. Then we'll be on the road and, and uh, like I said, two really challenging games, but games we look forward to. And it'll be good for some of our Western guys to have uh, their families um, be able to attend those games and, and good for the alums in that area. And uh, we're really looking forward to that trip.